That dream again. I'd best get up and head to town. I suppose we'll have the procession in the morning as usual, but I'd like to spend some time with Rosamarine later, too. Anyhow, I'd best get going to the festival. I may... there we go. I suppose today's the day. I might be able to meet him and maybe he'll grant me my wish, but... I still can't wrap my head around any of it, can I? Kieferberg's greenery certainly yada yada yada. Okay. okay, how bad is it this time? Oh, and he's gone. Good morning, Elise. Oh, Elise, good morning. <laughs> You're excited too, aren't you, Flock? For We're not taking the goat to town, Rosemarine. Uh, but... Oh, but Elise. What are you so excited about, anyhow? Why, it's the day of the festival, Elise. Now that you mention it. I don't think it'll live up to your expectations, Rosemarine. Oh, Elise. It's not just a festival, you're meeting him, too. Mm. I know, I know. I'm sorry, I... You're not changing your mind, are you? For goodness sake. I'm not, I'm not. Good grief, Rosemarine, let's go. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, wait, Elise. Now the obligatory look around everywhere. It's such a shame we can't bring Flock along to the festival. What good would that do him, anyhow? Oh, you know how much he enjoys being petted, Elise. And the children can't get enough of him, either. He's a goat, was a marine. Even so, I'm certain he'd enjoy it. And what are we to do if he starts chewing on the maypole? We can bring a turnip or two with us. What if folks ask us about him? What then? We can pretend we don't know him. If we act as surprised to see him as everyone else, maybe we can. Oh, you're hopeless. Is everything alright, Rosemarine? You've been rather jittery. Ah, well, I, I think I'm just a little nervous. About tonight, I suppose. It's my first time going to a festival, you see. Huh? Oh, I know it's silly, Elise. I make such a big deal out of it. What if I trip over my clogs, or what if I'm not dressed? 
I'll be right there with you. I'll take care of you. Oh, Elise. For goodness sake. It's rather better sweet, isn't it? What is Rosemarine? By reaching the end of the week. I suppose. You'd rather avoid talking about it. You've known me for a week, Rosemarine. And it feels as though I've been here for years, doesn't it? A little bit. My, you don't have to be so shy about it. Who are you calling shy, you... It truly does feel as though we've known each other for longer, doesn't it? That's what I've been saying all week. All that nonsense is dead and buried, Gaido. What nonsense, Mr. Tristan? Gaido here is still nattering on about last week. Let's move on. We've made it to Saturday. To the festival. Atta girl. It was about time, if I'm honest. Even Elise's cousin is more excited for the festival than you, Gaido. This is no laughing matter, Tristan. Come now, folks. We must make the most of today. Seems to me they're in rather good spirits. Ah, Elise, Rosemarine. Well of cheer, aren't you? What else can we expect from Frey today, Elise? Rosemarine. Ah, yes. I've made flower crowns for all of us, for you too, of course. Ah, flower crown. What do you say we dance about the maypole together, Rosemarine? Oh, dancing about the maypole. You two are spoiling her too much. Right, she's not from Kieferberg, Elise. Ray is right, Elise. We won't have many other chances. Why don't you two take her home, then? Oh, Elise, that's such a wonderful idea. What is? By a sleepover, of course. Oh, a sleepover. For goodness sake, you two. Looking forward to today, are we? Ah, of course. Is everything alright, Mr. Eugen? kifferberg has got some of its cheer back, you see. I'm not certain I can say the same about myself, is all. Because of your horses? Where's a marine? She's right, Elise. Things aren't as they used to be. Pains me to leave a town, to be honest. Yet I don't think I can ever look at it the way I used to. Mr. Eugen, I... That's in the past, now, lass. All we have now is to make the most of the festival. It'll be the last, after all. Mr. Eugen and I share this same sentiment, it seems. I suppose today will be the last of our time together like this. My last time in Kieferberg, at any rate. Okay, so it is. Don't go in the church yet. I can avoid. Uh, I can't avoid going to the procession, I suppose. So I can't go up there. I can go down here. I can go down here, but I'm in the hotel. Or the inn. Go the inn. Nope. Okay, straight to it, I suppose.
already for the procession? You couldn't miss it, Mr. Gustav. Good thing it's so sunny out today. This is how Kieferber got to be. Cheer, hope, and faith. That's what folks need today. Your tree alone is more than enough for all of Kieferberg, Mr. Gustav. I can see where Freya gets hers from. That's what keeps us moving forward, isn't it? You remember what Ola Hall used to say, don't you, Elise? About what, Mr. Gustav? Us folks ought to keep our memories close to our hearts, lass. Especially in days like these, they're numbered after all. Ah, I suppose. Oh, that's such a wonderful thing to say. That's what they would have wanted us to do, Elise. Old Hole and Hedri, too. Hedri? I know, Mr. Gustav, I know. Who is Mr. Gustav talking about, Elise? It's Freya's mother, Rosemarine. She passed away a long time ago. Ah, I see. Keep your memories close to your heart. She did used to say that from time to time, didn't she? You came, Rosemarine. Full of cheer for the festival, aren't you, Garoon? These two haven't sat still since this morning. Rosemarine, too, she's been chewing my ear off about it all day. I can't help it. Let's dance about the maypole together, Rosemarine. You too, Atfell. We must make merry today, you hear? Hmm. Out with it already, Atfell. He looks rather troubled still. It's best you say it, Atfell. I'm certain Elise will appreciate it. Appreciate what? I'm sorry, Elise, about what I said yesterday. That's all right, Atfell. There's no ill will. Elise. But today keeps getting better. It's such a relief seeing everyone making merry, isn't it? We can all go play for after their procession. Poor Atfell has been fretting over it since yesterday. It's not as though he was wrong, though. It's so good to see you girls here for the procession. Oh, we had to make time for it since... Good grief. How much more of my time is Father Hen's going to waste? What's the matter, Miss Wilma? She wants to get back to her inn, Elise. There's no need to say it like that, Ariani. My, my, it's the day of the festival, Wilma. Can't gather her prayers for even one day, I see. Why, you... We'd best all take our seats. Has Elise explained the procession to you yet, Rosemarine? Uh, no. She hasn't. It's rather simple. This procession's helping keep folks calm, I suppose. Your cousin's coming along too, Elise? Oh, yes I am. I'm glad you're joining us. There's much to be grateful for today. You wouldn't believe how relieved I am that today has finally come. I'd say we're all relieved, Miss Oddly. There are already quite a few outsiders in town, too. I've seen a few new faces, that's for certain. It's a good sign, folks. Maybe some of these folks might move here. But that's asking a little much. I wouldn't mind staying here if it weren't for... Rosamarine! Oh, that would be wonderful! Come now, it's time to gather for the procession. Oh, what a blessed day! Oh, that took all morning. Thank goodness it's over. Best I go join everyone by the end now. Red. Eight. 
Eight available. Ah, uh, okay. So that'll pass time. Had enough of the celebrations, Elise? I'm taking a moment, Father, is all. I'm supposed to take it in prayer. I spent a moment of my own by the altar myself. Wasn't the procession enough devotion for one day? Today is an important date, lass. St. Walpurg is watching over us. We have much to thank our patroness for, too. I'll give it some thought, Father. Very well, Elise. Prayer this, prayer that, for goodness sake. Ah, door's open. Okay. Nothing about up there. In that case... Leave up there. And let's go. How's the other door? Closed. Uh huh. Other hand study. Couldn't be. These are all about St. Walpurg, I believe. Let's see. St. Walpurg, Kieferberg's patroness saint. All of her mercy, her benevolence, is the reason for my unrelenting devotion. Similarly to her pagan roots, St. Walpurga's blessings serve none other than the people of Kieferberg. Protection, guidance, hope. Truly a servant of the Lord's will. May St. Walpurga purge all evil. May she protect me in my endeavors. Not to say, I don't think she's ever done such a thing. Textbook after textbook after textbook. What's this, a journal? Alperga the Witch. The creation of life wasn't by any means among her many f blessings, however. That's precisely what Old Hole claims she got out of the woodland, a baby. How can this be? Was the witch ever capable of producing life? I won't lie, golems. I've done my research on such heretic matters, and yet... None of what I've gathered points toward this possibility. Or was Walpurga's covenant interested in the creation of life? Another hands open journal. The Lord can forgive me for such sins. Whether I succeed in my endeavors or not, my role as a pastor is already compromised. Summoning Walpurga, the witch, comes with its sacrifices. Eugene's horses, Elizabeth's lad, and even their goats. Elise herself. Me? All of Kieferberg has been compromised for the sake of doing away with this evil. So that nobody else may ever commit the same wretched sins as Old Hole. So that no accursed spawns of the devil himself may be brought to this world ever again. I'm not proud of what I've done, yet I believe it is a necessary procedure. May this sacrifice of mine allow my beloved Kieferberg to reach the gates of heaven. Beloved Kieferberg? It was him all along, the one setting up those rituals. Inviting all this chaos to Kieferberg. I ought to get to the bottom of this. This one's a rather old journal. I can only hope my sacrifices will be worth it. That my plight brings glory to Kieferberg. There is no other weight but to summon Walpurga, the witch herself. In order to do that, however, I have to turn my back on my beloved Kieferberg. Lowering Walpurga requires heavy sacrifices. A beast for her to ride, a man for her to feast upon, and lastly... What is no more than a wild guess of mine, but one I believe can truly cast light upon the peril of mine. At least herself. If she truly was conceived in that woodland, I can only hope that the wretched witch will want her back. 
I believe that last is the key to all the whole sensible past in us. I have to do away with Elise in order to meet and potentially destroy the witch. So be it. This is... I'm not feeling so good. Demonology? What has Father Hens been researching? Demons, malevolent deities, adorned by some and feared by many, are at the heart of evil. The so-called demon lords tyrannize and rule over marquees, imps, and like. Each of these lesser fiends can, in turn, tame and keep familiars, evil spirits, and other such creatures to do their bidding. Witches, human women whose malevolent schemes and desires rule the night, stand as lesser beings. Often used to establish a wicked kinship between this realm and the underworld. Hmm. Yeah, it's fast forward. No additional on any of that. That. This. Ah, under. A door. Hmm. What would Father Hens need this for? Hmm. I'm for the key. What in the... What is this place? He's not losing sanity down here. This is making me feel sick. It's painted to look just like me in this ribbon. Left leaning against the wall, the painted puppet sits motionless. A wooden doll. This cap is so similar to Apfel's. If leaning against the wall, the wooden puppet sits motionless. Horseshoe. It's too big to be fitted onto a hoof, but a brand new horseshoe would still surface unworn and dull. Huh. Oh? I'm not going anywhere and try to figure this out. Ooh, so I gotta run, huh? Uh -huh. You found your way here, I see. Father. <laughs> My efforts haven't been in vain, after all. That's so. Though it's true. You're the one who's been setting up those rituals. <sighs> Necessary evil, Elise. What in the Lord's name are you trying to... That's enough. Do not invoke the Lord's name, witch. <laughs> ah! How am I rid you of the evil within you, Elise? That I rid Kieferberg of what you represent. What are you saying? Old Hull never told you, did she? As I'd suspected. Told me what? She was a sinner, Elise, a witch in her own right. On her deathbed, she confessed her heaviest sin to me. That she prayed to the woodland for the baby she could not conceive. That baby is you, Elise, the product of witchery, heresy, and evil. I think Old Hull had it in her to betray our Kieferberg in such a way. There is only one detail I cannot make sense of, however. She spoke of a he as her benefactor. That he had granted her wish for a heavy price. Who this entity is, I have not yet determined, but you, Elise. What? You ought to know who she was talking about. I'm well aware where you've been this past few evenings. What in the Lord's name? You mean... Who is he, Elise? Who is it that you and your grandmother are about to serve, you witches? Ah! Why that I have sacrificed? Eugene's horses that fell this town's livelihood and future. Get away from me! It wasn't all in vain, lass. You're insane! Tell me, Elise. Who is he? Is it Wilperga? Is it the devil himself? You're sick. Tell me! Ah. Oh. What is this? It's so dark. Where am I? 
Oh my. Ah. Whoa. Yikes. Come now, my dear. My progeny. You were taken from me. By him. By your grandmother. How I have defied the odds and the gods to get hold of you. Oh, Elise. I can feel your heart thumping in my chest. Your burning fingertips, your tearful eyes. I can embrace you at last, embody your human vessel. Live the life I've always wanted to, yet could never create for myself. Your life, Elise, the life of a woman. Apostasy, ending four. Hmm. Two shoes. That's that one. Folks are rather cheery today, aren't they? Good thing he didn't see how folks were at each other's throats just yesterday. Everyone random gets just one. I heard great things about the festival, but... No, I think I understand. Entering the festival, are you, lass? You're looking rather cheerful yourself, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm in a hurry to fetch a hammer of nails. I'm not certain you should be running at that age. I'm rather sturdy even at my age. I can see that, Mr. Wilhelm. Oh, I can't hide it, Elise. Being useful at this age, there's nothing quite like it. Ending a hand with the festival makes me feel like a young lad again. I'd say a lot of folks rely on you rather often. This is different, lass. It's the day of the festival, after all. I can't imagine myself reaching Mr. Wilhelm's age. See if anybody back here. Actually, in the church too. And I already went to the church, duh. Kieferberg Village isn't what it used to be, is it? Not even the festival can get it back on its feet. It looks like. Why bother coming all this way up here, then? Hmm... Can I go up here? Nope. Everyone's already at the festival, I'd wager. Okay, so I can't go up. Or can't go left. Can I go up? Nope. Alright, now I'm stuck going to the right. There she is, there she is! Have you heard Elise? Of course she hasn't, Jacob. We just made it up. What are you three going on about? I made these tickets for you, Elise. Oh? Tickets, what for? You can play with us, silly. Jacob wants to play Kiss the Rat with you, Elise. That fell. You brats and that filthy thing. I'm going to trade it for you, Elise. Ah, Mr. Gustav and Miss Ariani are also in on it, so go talk to them. Everyone will pay you for it as usual. Ah, Freya's made some flower crowns, too. You can play with us, Elise. Alright, alright, for goodness sake. Hooray, hooray! Isn't that great, that fell? Shut up, Jacob. I must say, it's good seeing them in good cheer after all that nonsense. Hmm. 
all the... We are a good company. With all the... All the mini-games, I guess? You might be right, Linda. Don't you worry, Elise, how good it is to see you. Even you've let go of those notions by now, I'd wager. What notions, Miss Brunhild? Why, of leaving Kieferberg, lass? I'd say Elise may be a different case, Brunhild. Oh, well, that's certain. You'd be right, I suppose. Me? Oh, but isn't it so wonderful here, Elise? Look around, what's there not to love? I suppose. I won't pester the last Brunhild. Truly, Lisa's old enough to decide where she wants to live. Oh, it's your loss. That's all I have to say. Seems today has done wonders for everyone's moods. If only they were this nice to me every other day of the year. Folks talk wonders about Kieferberg back in Primeldorf, but... This isn't quite what I had in mind. I can't bring myself to feel sorry for him, can I? Can I go up? Nope. Wait. I'd want to leave before talking to her, at least. I see. Isn't it a relief to see all this cheer in Kieferberg, Elise? It doesn't quite look the same, does it? You said it. Now, you're here because of those tickets, aren't you? The children gave me a few, yes. Always busy with their silly ideas, th those three. Well, are you trading one in, Elise? Maybe later. I'm still figuring out what to do with these. Alright, there's no harm. I'm only playing along because that fellow's looking so true anyhow. He's looking a great deal better, that's true. You must thank St. Walpurga for that, Elise. Ah, truly. Rather endearing town, isn't it? Ah, I wish I could move here. She's had too much to drink, I'd wager. During the festival, my dear? Of course, Miss Elizabeth, I hope you are too. Oh, Elise. More importantly, the laddies told me you'd be here. To trade in their silly tickets. They know how to reel us in, don't they? I'd say they're doing a great job keeping everyone's spirits up. Can't afford to fall behind, can we? On second thought, they said Mr. Arany and Mr. Gustav were also in on it. Ah, so you'd like to have a word with them first. That's alright, Elise. Take your time, my dear. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. You have to give it an honest try, Bernhard. Why don't you ask Elise, then? I mean, you two had a little too much. Never mind that, Elise. This is about Eugen. What about Mr. Eugen? Uh, he's leaving, that bastard. I think you've had enough. So have you, old geezer. You too. We can't let Eugen leave Kieferberg, and that's final. I'm not certain anyone could convince him to stay, Mr. Heinrich. That's what I keep telling him, lass. Eugen's too good to leave us behind. I'm going to go and have a word with him. If you were going, I'm going too. There you were, Elise. I was getting tired of waiting. You want to play Kiss the Rat, you say? Not me, I hate that game. Stop being such a killjoy, Apfel. We'll give you some tiffle if you win, Elise. Play with us, play with us! Give me a moment. I wouldn't want to waste these tickets on you brats. Oh, for goodness sake. Rune! You're starting to sound like Elise, Rune. Oh, that's gross. Don't say that, Jacob. Why, you... No toys about it. We ought to do it. Do what, Mr. Ludwig? Look at all these folks, lass. Old lad's prattling on about restoring Kieferberg's old homes, Elise. Who are you calling old, Finn? He's had enough, you see. 
I certainly can see that, yes. Tieferberg still got it, folks, that's what. Even if we do restore then rebuild all those abandoned homes, Ludwig. Best you don't try, Amy Fenn. I heard that, you two. Seems young folks have better towns to settle in now, Mr. Ludwig. Grimmeldorf, is it? Oh, there he goes again. These older folks truly can't let go, can they? Kieferberg's lost much of his charm, lass. I think I used to come here to trade back in the day. I suppose all we have to trade these days is some weevil-ridden grain. There she is. There you are, I suppose. Got some cheer in you, Elise. Surely it is a day for the festival. Certainly, Miss Alma. Why, right, that was embarrassing, truth be told. What was? All that ruckus about the witch and whatnot, Elise. Kieferberg didn't need all that conflict, that's for certain. Hmm. Folks were on the edge for too long, I'd say. What are we doing talking about this nonsense over yet again? Surely we ought to be making merry. Ah, if you excuse me. All's well that ends well, wouldn't you say? You must think St. Olpriga. For goodness sake. All's well that ends well, they say. I'm here for the food. A long lost relative of Mubby's, I'd wager. Wilma can look after herself, I'd say. Don't you think that's rather harsh, Wilma? What is Miss Marilyn? Hmm. Do you need anything, old Jacken? I don't tell me you're still going on about the witch. Oh, not this nonsense again. You best pray you've seen Olpriga's blessing will last, folks. We may be enjoying a blessed day today, but we... Blessed day we nearly ruined because of your foolishness, old Jacken. It's over. Everyone seems to have moved on from last week anyhow. Surely it was about time we let that nonsense go. You folks truly don't know. Anyhow, as I was saying, Wilma can go back to Primaldorf all she wants. So, you'll be left all alone again, Wilma. If only they'd handle it like this last week. My, Kieferberg is just as I remember it. A little less credit, but just as charming. This is what nostalgia does to old folks, I suppose. Oh, lass! What's wrong, Miss Oddly? All these strangers around today. Don't do well with all this commotion. Last week's nonsense has truly left a scar, huh? Don't say such things, lass. Alright, Miss Oddly. That said, I suppose it's a good thing to see Kieferberg this cheery once more. I'm surprised this old hag survived this week, if I'm honest. I only hope I never end up like Miss Oddly. Oh, look at you, Elise. What about me, Miss Mershchild? That flower crown rather suits you, my dear. Oh, Holo would be rather proud of you, Elise. Oh, Granny Gretel. Really, she'd be jumping for joy, I'd say. You've grown up to be such a lovely lass, Elise. It's been about ten years now, hasn't it? I suppose, yes. Oh, I missed it all last year. You remember, Marshall, when we were about Elise's age? She'd make us those dandelion flower crowns on the day of the festival. And of course, braid our hair and pinch our cheeks, too. Pinch your cheeks, Miss Mershchild? Rosy cheeks are our lass's best asset, Elise. It truly is, as they used to say it, isn't it, Gretel? No two ways about it, Mershchild. I suppose we all wish we could have spent more time with Granny Hole. Hmm, anything down here? Ah. Sneaking around town even on a day like this, Miffy? Ah, uh, Elise! 
Thank goodness you're here. Let me guess. This griddle's but bringing in m more pastries later, you see. But Auntie only gave me a few tiffle, uh, and I still... I'm not lending you a single coin, Molly. Ah, but, but at least... Uh, my Auntie's so stingy, I, I haven't had... Not one. Hmm. I'm not budging even if you cry, Mandy. Get over it. Hmm. 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 Oh, to hell with you. Go ask Granny Gretel, why don't you tell her I sent you? Uh, Elise, Granny Gretel wouldn't say no to you, anyhow. Ah, m maybe I should have asked her first, you're right. Why, you? This girl is unbelievable. At a girl, Elise. I haven't said anything, Mr. Gustav. I toast to you last, Chola Kieferberg. You've had too much ale, Mr. Gustav. You're here for the ticket side wager. Can't say no to those laddies, can we? Ought to make the most of them while they're little, Elise. That said, I'm ready for your tickets. Give me a moment. I think I'd like to walk about a little longer. Don't forget to stop by, lass. I have something nice waiting for you. Something nice, Mr. Gustav? I'll see if you come about. Hmm. Oh, can I go around the shop? I can. Nothing really too interesting in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. I don't think I can though. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, that's everybody. I'm guessing... I picked the good company. But these are all the side missions, I think. There you are! Ready to spend your tickets, lass? You bet. I'll be on my way, Mr. Gustav. Hi, a girl, Elise! Uh-huh. Hey, Rank. 